This is saucy. These guys are saucy this year. Yeah. Chateau Giscourt in Margot is the epitome of saucy in 2022. Yeah. No second wine. Nope. This is unheard of. Usually they have a wine, is, is, is it still called Seren? Like Seren de Giscourt or whatever. Remember this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Usually there's a second wine. Every chateau does it. Yeah, they, they, they make put, the, the Yeah, they put like 40% and... in the Grand Van and they put like 40% in the second wine. They bulk out 20% or whatever the hell. Um, this year, uh, Giscourt, uh, Alexander, Thomas Duclos, they went like ne pas deuxième van. Everything is like so here you go, man. Yeah. I'll just score all the time. Well, it, the thing is, is, is be, prior to us going to Bordeaux and tasting the wines and talking to like some of the negotiants that we do business with that we're setting up meetings for, they're like, we just got back from just scores. Oh my. Oh my God. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they got like a special barrel like Robert Parker did <laughs> like, when he went to Spain, but nevertheless, yeah. Well, I didn't say that, but yeah. I, Right. Yes, and, yeah, I mean, but the thing is, is no, they didn't because when we tasted the wine, oh man, I mean, I've never tasted a just course that was just absolutely precise. <clears throat> this is one of the buzz wines. Yeah. We start talking about buzz wines. They're going to be popping up over you know, these videos. Yes. This is a 100% buzz wine. Yep. What I thought was impressive was, and I think what everybody else thinks is impressive is like, everybody likes candy. There's a reason candies at the supermarket checkout. And this, from a Duclos standpoint, with the customers he's working with, mm. this was candy. Yeah, totally. This wine had a little more meat on the bone than some of the other wines we're gonna talk about before and after. For sure. There was a, a slightly more hedonistic quality to this again. I think the heat in 22 and Margot that. presented it. So I think uh, Thomas took all this richness and ripeness and yumminess and what everybody says they don't like, but they really do. And he did his Duclos thing with it and framed it in this yeah. little elegant sheen making the most complete Giscor I've ever had. Well, as you know, I mean, Giscor is the very, very south mm -hmm. of Margot. I mean, literally, remember we were doing the whole race from mm -hmm. yeah. Gilmadoc to yeah. Margot? And uh, and I think that has a lot to do with it as well. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, absolutely phenomenal What was I saying? Wine. Yeah, two thirds Cabernet, mostly yeah. med, big chunk of Merlot, a little Petit Verdot, a little Cap Franc, nothing there, shocking, wacky. Um, yeah. Other than the fact that uh, he's keeping it open for a yeah, little bit, seventeen yeah. months, so. and no amphora. Um, oh. But yeah, it's just score knocked it out of the park, baby. This is uh, yeah, and it, it, undeniably great wine in twenty two. Yep.